Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are going to solve CAT 2017 question paper slot 2. In our last videos, we have solved questions up till 86. So now we are going to start with question number 87. So question 87 says, if the product of three consecutive positive integers is 1, 5, 6, double 0, then the sum of the squares of these integers is. Okay, so we have been given three numbers, three consecutive positive integers and the product of these three numbers have been given which is 15,600. Now we need to find the sum of their squares of these numbers. So first we need to find the number, then we need to square these numbers and then we need to find the sum of these numbers. So let us begin. So as you can see, we can assume this number we have 515600. So as you can see, we have two zeros in the end. We have two zeros in the end of this number. So one of these three numbers, we know that this must be 25. And why can we say 25? Because we have three post consecutive positive integers. And when we multiply 25 with any number, we will multiply 25 with any random positive integer. We will get a zero in the end. Always we will get a zero in the end. But in some cases we won't when as we will we can multiply this as 5. So we will get 125. So in this condition we won't get. But again when we multiply this number with any number we can get zero. And we have three numbers. So always when we multiply 25 with three uh, two more numbers we will get two zeros and we do not have any such number which can be multiplied with a more than means two more numbers we have like either this can be 24 25 26 or this can be 26 27 or this also can be 23 24 25 so this number 25 and the these 24s and 26 or the 26 and 27 or 23 24 25 any number out of these multiply if you multiply 25 we will get two or one zeros in the end so now we need to find which of these three conditions will give us three, uh, two zeros in the end so solving this we can easily find so let us solve this in some another way we have our number that is 15600 and this is the product of these three numbers so let us divide 25 from this number so dividing 25 we will get here uh, 6 150 then we have 2 uh, 50 then we have 400 so this is the number we get that is 624 so now we can easily find whether we get 624 when we multiply 24 into 26 when we multiply 26 into 27 or when we multiply 23 into 24 so i have a new different uh, scheme of doing this we do not need to multiply the total number we can do this easily all we need to do is multiply the last digits of these numbers and match that last digit with our last digit here so 6 into 4 will give us 24 so as you can see 4 matches with this 4 now 7 into 6 7 into 6 will be uh, 42 so 2 doesn't matches with 4 and 4 into 3 will be 12 which is again a 2 which doesn't matches with 4 so our this number matches with 4 hence we have the three consecutive numbers that is 24 25 and a 26 which gives us 15600 so we have got our three required numbers now we need to square these numbers first and then we need to add up them so let us solve this here 24 square plus 25 square plus 26 square so solving this 24 square gives us 576 then 25 square gives us 625 and 26 square gives us 676 you can solve this easily it's a simple multiplication so this summing up we will get 180 double seven this is also a very simple addition which can be done easily so our answer to this question is one eight double seven that is one thousand eight hundred seventy seven so let's check the options so option number d matches with our answer hence option d is the correct answer to this question so let us move on to our next question that is question number 88 rather let us end this video here you will find solutions to the further questions that is from question number 88 to the end in our further video